Hello again, Year 10. Sorry, it sounds like I'm stuck in a jar. A few of you have asked for some help with solving quadratic equations using the formula. This forms part of your MathsWatch homework, and further help can be found on MathsWatch clip 191. So first of all, this is the quadratic formula. You will need to know it for your exam, and the easiest way to remember it is with a song. So the way to remember it is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We won't be singing it throughout this, but it was just a little way to help you. So this question, solve 6x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0 using this quadratic formula. The first thing we need to know is where these values are going to come from. A, B and C. Well, they come from the question. So first of all, the value of A is the coefficient or the number in front of the x squared. So in this particular question, the value of A is 6. For B, it's the coefficient of the x value, so the number in front of the x. And in this case, it's 5. And finally, the C value is the number that comes on its own, and that is negative 2. So now we're going to input that into our formula. We know that x equals minus b. So we want the negative of whatever b is. In this case, it's 5, so minus 5. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 5 squared, minus 4ac, so 4 times a, which was 6, times b, which, sorry, c, which was negative 2, all over 2a, so 2 times 6. Now, we can simplify that a little bit before we put it into the calculator. So x equals negative 5, plus or minus, and I'll come back to that in a bit, the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times 6 times negative 2. So that's 4 times 6 times negative 2 is negative 48, all over 2 times 6, which is 12. Now when I input that into my calculator, the first thing I need to do is press the fraction button. So you're going to press the fraction button on your calculator and you're going to write minus 5. Now you can't write plus or minus so the first thing we're going to do is put plus. So plus the square root of 25 minus and then I'm going to put in brackets negative 48 close the bracket and then I arrow down and put the 12 on as the denominator and I get an answer of 0 0.30. Okay, that's actually 0 0.295 but I've rounded it to two decimal places. I then arrow across back to that plus sign and I change the plus to a minus because we want plus or minus the square root of 25 minus negative 48. So I change that to a negative, and this time I get an answer of 1.13. So the answer is x equals 0 0.30, or x equals 1.13. In this example, it's written a little bit strange, so I need to rearrange it before I start using the formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply out the brackets. x minus 3 squared means x minus 3 multiplied by itself. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So when I've multiplied this bit out here, I get x squared minus 6x plus 9 and that is equal to 5 because that's what was it said in the question. I then need to rearrange this 
to take to get the 5 over to this, this side so that the whole equation equals 0. So when I take the 5 over to the other side, it becomes the inverse, so it becomes a negative 5, and I can simplify that with x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0. So I've expanded the brackets and rearranged it to get everything all over on one side, and now I can solve it using the equation. So in this question, a is 1 b is negative 6, and c is 4. When I put that into my formula, I get x equals minus b, so minus negative 6, which I know two negatives is a positive, so that's 6 plus or minus the square root of minus 6 squared, and this is why I put this in brackets, because otherwise your calculator will give you minus 6 squared and it will give you the answer of minus 36. But we know that any number squared is positive. So you need to have that negative 6 in brackets because you are squaring negative 6. You're not getting a negative answer. Then we want to put minus 4 times 1 times 4 because c is 4 and all over 2a, so 2 times 1. We can then simplify that a little bit before putting it into our calculator, or you can type it in just like that. So I'm going to change this to 6 plus or minus. Minus 6 squared I know is 36, so the square root of 36 minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is 16 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So the first thing I need to do is press the fraction button, and I'm going to write 6 plus the square root of 36 minus 16. I then use my arrow button to the denominator, so that's over 2, and I get the answer of 5.23606, which is 5.24, to two decimal places. I then arrow across so that I change the plus sign to a minus sign, a negative, and I get the answer of 0 0.7639, which to two decimal places is 0 0.76. I hope that helped. Bye.